this morning we're going to activate Slide Mountain. Uh, W6 Sierra Charlie 057. And it's about a two mile walk on a paved road, and then you actually hit the trail. So it's going to be a long walk. Maybe my GPS can show you. I think it's about two miles. Anyways. That first two miles really does go pretty quick. Um, just because you're on pretty much flat pavement the whole way. This, however, can be a bear. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I love nature. I love the outdoors. But this incline is ridiculous. It's been like this the whole way up so far, about three quarters of a mile. I don't know, maybe we're three miles up or into the, the hike from the road. Um, pretty cool place. Lake Pyramid, or Pyramid Lake, whatever you want to call it. And I feel like I've hit a wall. So far, four miles in, and uh, it just seems like it's going forever. But I think we've reached the ridge.
the uh, I actually made it this time to um, slide mountain almost slide lookout one of I believe two fire lookouts in the Ash Angeles National Forest um, this is actually the only one that's uh, intact um, did a soda activation of course and then I, I think I got eight, eight or nine contacts but here's the bad part I forgot to turn on my camera I've been documenting this whole hike you know and only to to uh, forget to turn on for the contacts so I figured I'd do uh, um, well that was on 20 meters that I got all the contacts and I think it, we're hitting Chicago, Missouri, New Mexico, Seattle. So pretty good, nice spread. Um, so I figured, oh, I'll turn on my camera and record for um, uh, 40 meters. Man, that's dead. So kind of sucks. So anyways. I hope you appreciate this hiking video and um, but I will say you know um, I met the uh, the volunteer up here uh, the fire watch Evan pretty cool cat he was very interested in what, what I was doing and uh, he said he was gonna look into it so I don't know maybe there's a ham being born try to try to push him in that direction but you know you don't want to push too hard Anyways, I'm going to hike uh, 5.82 miles back to the car. So one thing about this uh, this hike is the first hike with my new Kenwood. And I will say, being able to have APRS and GPS and a radio is just insane. Um, nice that now when I go out my wife can track where I'm at and you know if I don't come back on time she can actually maybe help the authorities pinpoint where my dumbass fell off the mountain this is probably the longest hike I've ever done I still got three miles to go and I'm dying the heat's killing me the uh oh yeah up on the saddle to walk along and all of a sudden I hear I've never heard a rattlesnake before but at that time I knew exactly what it was and uh, needless to say I ran like a little girl and then for about the next mile my hair was standing up on the back of my neck just because I was worried about the uh, prospect of getting bit and having get helicoptered out here but um anyways I'm on a wide road now so I'm not too worried and oh I forgot to mention so I went to uh, unpack my my wires for my FT 817 November Delta and I was missing my power plug so I could not hook up my Biano battery to it. So all the contacts I made today were on 9.2 volts. It's pretty awesome. But um, anyways, I'm just glad I got an activation out of this, especially with what a gnarly hike it is. So, um, had three, li oh, shit, I can't talk. Had three liters of water. Um, in the Gatorade and before the last two miles I ran out of everything so on an 11 and a half mile hike packed more beverages 